Hi, my name is Enrique Espinosa. This is the fifth video in the series in which we are learning how to program classes and objects using the C-sharp programming language. It's our turn to look through the visibility concept. This word might be new to you, but it's actually not. You already have program visibility. Recall that you already know how to create an instance of a class that is an object. For that reason, you know that objects have two main sections, attributes and methods. You also know that in order to program methods correctly, some of them have to be preceded by the public keyword, and that effectively makes them accessible to objects outside the walls of the object. For what purpose? Recall getters and setters. Some objects want to read or change the contents of attributes inside an object, but they are not allowed to do it directly, so they must follow an interface. The interface means that they have to call a method inside the target object. If they are allowed to do this, it will be because that method or methods are is or are public. So now I'll rename the public keyword as the public qualifier. So a method will be qualified as public, making it accessible to the outside world. But now, for the same token, let's look at another qualifier. That qualifier will be static. Now this word is not new, either. We already have encountered the keyword static when we first wrote our first C-sharp examples. Let me refresh your mind. Remember that the, C, that the Visual Studio IDE created a project and with the project came a source file that was the entry point. So our class can be named any way we wish, but that class will certainly have this one signature, static void main. This is the entry point. This is the, fir the, the first method that will be called in the whole application regardless of how simple or complex the application is. So. Why is it that main is static? What is the reason for it? What does that mean? Well, it means the following. Normally, every object will have its own copy of attributes and methods. There will be, they will all have the same structure, but they will have different data. And the methods itself, themselves will be the same. But this doesn't happen with main. It happens that main, as it's static, is unique there is no cloning of main. Regardless of how many objects you create, main will remain a single copy. What that means is that every object that you create will be born from main. Objects will not be born from a copy or a separate world. They will all come from a single centralized point called main, the entry method. The purpose of this it's out of the scope of this course, but it suffices to say that main is a controlled area. We know there's, there's just one copy of it, and there's no, nowhere else to look for trouble when objects are created or instanced. However, that brings another problem. So, if main is a static environment, what happens when we try to create methods out of the program class. So program as a class should have its own methods as any other class. In our example we have two classes, program and musical instruments. So does it, is it the same story with both classes? Well, let's see. So here's our, our code. So it should sound normal that we create a method. So we should make this a public void do something method. I'll just say something real simple like this, hello. So logic tells me that if I created a method out of program, the program class, I should be able to call that method from within the program class, right? So when I start running my main method, I should be able to just say do something because, well, that's one guy in the block, right? It's my neighbor, so why shouldn't I call it? But the truth of the matter is that when I run the program, it doesn't run. 
Why? Well, let's look at our, at our error box here. Well, I made a mistake here, so let me just fix it. Do something. I'm sorry, I made a mistake here. Let's run it, and still, it won't run. Okay, so do something doesn't run. And our error box tells me the following. An object reference is required for the non-static field method or property do something. So what does that mean? Well, we need to make do something be called by an object reference. It means that we need to make do something be a message to an object that does not currently exist. If I look at my diagram here, it looks like I already made a, an instance of class program and then I called the method do something inside. But that's not the truth though. Main is kind of kind of different because I don't need to create an, an object of class program to run the main method because there is no such thing as a, as a local copy for every object. There's only one main method so the compiler has no problem in pinpointing or identifying which one to run. There's just one entry point. However, when I call a method, that method should have been clonable. And so when I just say do something, the compiler doesn't know to which method I'm, I'm talking about, or is it unique? There's a doubt. The compiler doesn't know how to solve this. So in order to do so, I need to pay attention to the error message. They need an object reference. So let's give them an object reference. That object should be a program of class program. So program is a class. Of course, it's the same class that I'm in. So I'll make object P, and I'll say new program. And then I'll just say they do something is a result of a method being passed over to object P, which is what the error was telling me. So when I run the thing, once again, I should have no problem in running it. And here I go. Hello. Hello, remember, is the, the result of calling do something. So, in consequence, what I did was that I created an object of class program and from that I was able to call a proper method inside the object not within main which is just a single copy if I created musical instruments like I shown here then I would do it from inside the main method so the main method will exist regardless of how many copies I have so for now that's it you need to go over this and this is like a recipe. Every time you want to call methods from within main, you need to make those methods be called as messages to objects they cannot run by themselves like they did before. And don't worry, the concept of static is a very complex concept. For now, it suffices that you learn what I told you here. Please review the concept once again, and good luck. Thanks for watching.